our fan brush is a really thin brush that we are going to use to create our northern lights. So this is where we're going to take some of these odd colors. I'm trying to focus. Okay, so what you're going to do, let's start with our white. You're just going to dip just the tip like this into your white paint. Nothing more. Just really get the the edges of the brush in there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to create like a squiggle line right in the middle of our sky. Clear little squiggle line. Just tap in your brush. Tap it. Don't drag it. Just tap your brush. Cute little squiggle line. Now what you're going to do is you're going to drag your brush straight up through those squiggle lines like this to different heights not too hard we're just dragging our brush gently up if you need to tap it in there a couple more times to get some darker lines that's fine dragging our brush straight up just like that super simple tap and drag Now, we're going to add in a bit of green. So take your green, and I recommend adding a bit of white to it before you do this. So dip in. Ah, my light went out. Love technical difficulties. Sorry, everyone. We're going to take our white, and we're just going to mix that into the green just a bit. create a lighter sort of green. If you have a lighter green, feel free to use it. And for this one, we're not going to tap, but we're just going to gently drag up the random spots of the white. Just really gently, light-handed, drag up through certain spots. And we're going to do the same thing with our purple paint. Put it over here. Add just a mix of white to it. Make a nice light lavender purple and we're just going to gently drag up through our northern lights if you want to add some darker colors to those you can for instance just a tiny bit of purple looks nice dark purple just here and there And it looks better on canvas. Let me try to get a better angle. You get these nice natural northern lights. And it's super simple. Super cute and fun. You can add more detail to it if you like. If you want to add some darker colors going up and down. And just to really round it off. You can take your brush. And put it back in your white paint. Just the edges. And then... Well, don't do what I did and accidentally dip it in black. Let's wash that brush. Because you don't want that. Get just a bit more white so I can show you what I mean. Put it over here so it's not tainted. Going to get a bit more white on the edges of our brush. And what you can do is you can just kind of like tap back over kind of where you went through. And it really cleans up and freshens up that line. If you want to drag it up a few more pieces to bring out some more of your white. It really freshens up your northern lights. Super simple. Super cute. You can do it wherever you want. Just swatches all throughout. You can combine it, make a smaller one underneath. Keep doing just random little colors up through your swatches. Cute and simple. Get some more white and let's blend that out. Drag a couple more up through there. 
And there we go. Nice little northern lights. These could have done to be thicker, but running on a short time limit here. We have little northern lights. Those could have used some work. Try to even those out a bit. And not everything will look exactly the same. So you can just take your time with these. Add whatever colors you like. If you want to add some different colors. Some darker colors. Or some, you know, just totally different colors all together. Anything that you want, you can make look nice. I added some darker greens. There went the light again. And just really even that out to wherever you like it to end. If you don't like northern lights, you don't have to add them into this painting. It's just a simple, quick tutorial. Now I'm going to show you the same brush technique, but with trees instead. We're going to take our thick brush again, and we're going to dip it right back into our black paint. And down here on our bottom layer, where we don't have any paint yet, that's where we're going to just do the same thing we did last time. Quick line, straight over the bottom. And it's so much easier with your black paint. Create a nice, simple overlay. Make a little mountain terrain. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. So now we have that nice little terrain. Clean that brush off. Black is one of the worst paints to try to get out of a brush. If you leave it sitting too long. So let's just try to clean our brush right quick. A lot of splooshing around. And then we're going to take that same brush that we just had and probably could have cleaned it a bit better, but it's okay. Same brush that we just had, the fantail brush. And you're going to go ahead and dip it in your black. And what you're going to do is just pick any random spot on your canvas, trying to get a good view here, and just with the edge of it, just draw a skinny line straight down, a little thicker towards the edge or the end. Dip your paint back in just a little bit. And then we're going to start like this with our brush level to it. And as we go, you're going to see that I'm doing this technique where I kind of move the brush like this. Whereas it comes down, it kind of starts tapping this way and tapping that way. And you're just going to start here with a really skinny beginning to that. Just tap it so gently. You want it to kind of be see-through. And then we're going to start coming down, tapping the same way. And you're going to see that this tree just automatically starts to form. And once it gets to about the width of your brush, then you can just hold it sideways like this. And just start tapping back and forth. And this tree just materializes. So simple. So easy. No effort at all. And boom. A tree. In almost two seconds. Just a perfect pine tree right in the middle of your painting. And you can even do smaller ones, just based off how you want it. So like if we put a small one right here, we just got to be super careful with making the beginning skinny. And then kind of just tippy-tapping our brush as we come out side to side. Whenever it gets big enough, we can just go straight down through the edge like so. Hold it sideways. And there we have a little tree. And you can do that with as many or as little as you want. Just all throughout the background. And you can even start 
We're just right in the middle of what you've created so far. Just do a line. Start skinny at the top. And kind of just brush your way down as you come through. Side this up like a Christmas tree. Whenever it gets big enough, this light, I swear. And the sad thing is I just charged it. And you can just start tippy tapping out the rest. Get more paint as you need it. And just side to side. Just tapping out your tree as you go. And you want those holes there because no tree is completely solid. And now you have nice little trees in your forest. The last thing I'm going to show you for this tutorial is how to do quick and easy stars. So you may already guess how this is done. It's not very hard. You're just going to take any sort of brush that you can find. Preferably a round one. I'm going to use this brush here. It's nice. It's soft and round. And it's just really gentle and easy to the touch. So, probably already going to guess where this is going. We're going to get a good bit of white paint on our brush. If your paint doesn't seem liquidy enough, you can add just a drop to the water because you don't want paint that's too too thick if I can get any of my white paint out and you don't want it to be too thick but at the same time you don't want it to be watered so you're just gonna get a good bit of paint on your brush and we're gonna hold out our finger and we're just gonna tap this brush all along the painting And we're just tapping our finger. And it will make a, I should warn you, it will make a bit of a mess. But my paint is completely washable, so I'm not worried about it. Just tapping our finger. If it gets on your trees, that's okay. You can always just go back over them. Um, I kind of like the way it looks. It makes it look kind of like stars with a snowfall. It's just personally up to you. Or if you'd rather, you can do the stars first and then do your trees. And you're just going to tap your finger all over your paint until you think you have enough stars. And it's just that simple. Now all of a sudden we have stars on our painting. What I will do is I'll go back with my black brush and I'll cover this back up. Just that little bit there because I like to make it look just a bit more neat at the bottom but as for the trees I kind of like the way it looks with the white on it if you rather like I said you can go back over it or just do your trees last but it's a really simple galaxy with trees you can do more trees less trees you can put a moon right in the middle it's just all completely up to you and your personal taste on how you want your painting to look. These are just simple tricks to help you improve your styles that you may not have thought of before, to help you experiment with new things, and it's just super simple. Turn it sideways so you can see. Super simple. You get in that nice layer for the galaxy we got in there, our northern lights and our stars, just all shining right through. And it's just a super simple, unique painting. Let's see if I can set it up a bit. Well, of course the light's going to go out just as I touch it. Yep. Super basic, not too hard to make at all. Impressive gift for just casual family members or friends and there you have it. That's our night sky painting. 
Be sure to comment down in the section below what videos you'd like me to make next. I'm not sure what I want to do for the next episode yet, so if you give me the ideas, I might be able to include those in the videos. And if you have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thank you, and don't forget to subscribe.